Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to install launchers such as Epic Games, Origin, GOG in the easiest way possible. Okay, let's start. For the first step, you need to set up your deck root password. If you don't have that, simply go to the terminal or console, type PASSWD, press enter. You're gonna need to type your password twice, but you cannot see it while typing it, so be careful in typing. But in my case, it says current password because I already have a password. Uh, make it short and easy just so you can remember it. Most people just type Steam Deck or something easy to remember. Just type something that you're not gonna forget. So after setting that up, open your browser and go to decky.xyz and then press download. Okay, so save it. Now on the browser, don't click here, okay? It's not going to launch. Go to the file manager. Now double click on it. Continue, and then type your root password or also known as sudo admin password. So in my case, it's very short and very easy to remember. You probably know what my password is. So press OK, and that's it. Now on the branch, I usually just choose release unless I'm trying to test something else. But if you want a stable experience and not too much updates, just go for the release version and press OK. So we're now going to switch to the gaming mode and set it up. Okay, on gaming mode, you're gonna have to press the three dots on your Steam Deck. Just like that. And go down here. It's like a plug. So here are my Decky plugins. I've already installed plugins from way back. So when you, whenever you uninstall Decky, the plugins stay. Unless you wipe Decky Loader, then they all go away. In my case, I reinstalled it and they're all back. So we go to the marketplace up here. And then search for non-steam launcher or could just non-steam there we go install that that and then we open it up okay before we install anything i'm just going to show you what my non-steam uh page look like so as you see i don't have epic games we're going to install epic games just because i have a bunch of free games that i got from epic so I don't, as you see, I don't have Epic Games here. All right, what we're gonna do is open on Steam Launchers and I'm gonna take you on a tour first. In the Game Launchers, well, there's Game Launchers, all right? On streaming sites, you have the famous streaming sites. On custom website, you could put any website you want. So you could have a very easy access on it on gaming mode. And Start Fresh basically just wipes everything that the non-steam launcher installed. There's auto scan games, but I prefer manual. So every time I install the game, I'm just going to manually scan it just so I can make sure that it's, you know, updated by myself. Okay, let's go to the game launcher and uh, install Epic Games. Turn this on and then go to install like that. Now in the background, it's actually downloading the Epic Games installer and installing it. So this might take a few minutes all right so it says installed successfully so let's see if it's actually installed let's go to non-steam let's see if it updated okay the shortcut was delayed that's why i cannot see it oh there we go epic games is now here and as you see it didn't just download it it set it up for you see everything's here even the compatibility so i just installed this proton i used it for god of War ragnarok and then when this plugin installed Epic Games, it used the latest Proton that I have. Now we're gonna try to start it up, but before that, we're gonna go to the controls and I'm gonna set this up to... Yeah, well, I guess mouse trackpad is okay. You're gonna wanna customize this and go to the trackpads. On the right trackpad, set it as mouse and then the click is left mouse click. So anyway, let's try Epic Games and let's see what happens. Okay, so we are now on the login page of Epic Games. And if I were to use this without mouse and keyboard, I could only use my finger or my right trackpad because I set it up. By default, you cannot use the right trackpad, so that's why I told you to set it up. So anyway, we're gonna try to log in first before we could install the game. Okay, so I'm done with the login and we're going to install a game. 
Now, there's a chance that this might hang and you cannot click anything. In that case, just exit Epic Games and just open it up again. Epic Online Services. I'm not sure if uh, you could play online games with this, even if you install this. So I don't actually play multiplayer games. Not that often anyway. Right. So we're going to install the smallest game possible just for the sake of tutorial. I have this game called Everything and I don't know anything about it. I just got it for free. Now, I know you're probably thinking, I told you this is the easiest way possible. And trust me, this is the easiest way possible. If you followed my channel, installing non-steam launchers like this, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. But right now we have a plugin to do it. So it's way easier. Okay, let's install everything. Okay, so the game has been installed and we can now exit Epic Games. Let's open non-steam launchers again. And then press manual scan. Okay, new shortcut. Let's go to library. And we have everything. There we go. Now let's see if it's set up properly. Yeah, just like Epic Games. Let's play it. There we go. The game's working. Alright, let's try to play the game a bit. JD. Okay, so the gamepad's working. What am I doing? I'm flying in space. So before I get distracted by the game, I'm going to teach you how to uninstall. So if you want to uninstall something, get into Epic Games and then uninstall it, you know, like normal. Uninstall it from here. Now the game is gone. There's no point doing a manual scan because for some reason, this app does not remove the shortcuts that it's made. Let me show you. So as you see, shortcut is still here, and if you try to open this up, it's gonna open Epic Games instead because the game must have been uninstalled, all right? So we're not gonna waste time. We know what's gonna happen anyway. It's gonna open up Epic Games. If you wanna remove the game, after uninstalling it from Epic Games or whatever launcher it is, you're gonna have to manually remove this, like that. Now, if you wanna uninstall the launcher, you go to non-Steam launchers, go to game launchers, select the game launcher, and then press uninstall at the bottom. This also just uninstalls the app but does not remove the shortcut again if you try to open it up it won't it's just going to go back to the home screen there we go so it's not working anymore because we've uh, uninstalled it you're gonna have to manually remove it there we go as you see setting up the launcher is, is still cumbersome only because of the controls and sometimes it's hanging or crashing but the installation and uninstallation is very easy now especially the fact that it can make shortcuts for you you know what this plugin basically made my old video obsolete where i install launchers so this is cool you know anyway that's it for this video i hope i helped you guys once again i'm jd ross thank you for watching and see you on the next video